The world-class ICTHUS LNG project is led by operator INPEX, alongside major partner TOTAL and the Australian subsidiaries of CPC Corporation Taiwan, Tokyo Gas, Osaka Gas, Kansai Electric Power, JERA and TOHO Gas. As engineering, procurement, construction and commissioning contractor for the ICTHUS project onshore LNG facilities, JKC Australia LNG has proudly delivered these facilities for INPEX and its joint venture participants. Off the coast of northwest Australia, fossilized fish were found near the gas field and the project therefore became known as ICTHUS, the ancient Greek word for fish. The project was divided into offshore and onshore facilities. At Bladen Point near Darwin, construction of onshore facilities to liquefy natural gas at a temperature of minus 161 degrees Celsius for shipment was planned. The LNG facilities comprise two processing trains that liquefy the natural gas with a total production capacity of approximately 8.9 million tonnes per year. The plant also produces liquefied propane and butane, as LPG and condensate. The contract for the construction of the onshore facilities in Darwin was awarded to JKC Australia LNG, a joint venture of JGC, KBR and Tioda. The approach adopted for the project construction was to fabricate large-scale modules off-site to shorten the construction period, reduce construction costs and mitigate the environmental impacts of construction activities. The LNG plant was designed as a set of 230 modules, which were fabricated in four yards located in three countries in Asia before being shipped to Darwin. Lam Chibang Port, the international trade port of Thailand. A total of 40 process modules were fabricated here by STP&I in its 410,000 square meter yard. Each module had to be designed considering the weight distribution suitable for stable marine transportation. Also a new construction method that enabled efficient construction work within limited spaces was developed. The modules had to be rigid in order to be safely transported by ship. The module aboard the self-propelled modular transporter or SPMT. The module was loaded onto the vessel after confirmation of its weight and center of gravity. At QL's yard, several kilometers away from STP and I's yard, a total of 151 small structures and pipe rack modules were successfully fabricated and shipped. In the space left vacant after sail away, fabrication of the next module began immediately. Qingtao, capital of the marine industry in China. The main pipe rack for each LNG train was fabricated here by Koek in its yard. The main pipe rack is a huge structure, 360 meters long and 30 meters high. That forms the backbone of the LNG train. The completed main pipe rack was cut into four modules for safe transportation. One of those modules weighing 5,000 tons is shown here being loaded onto a vessel. Batan Gas, after Manila, the Philippines' second largest port. The local electrical and instrument rooms were fabricated by AG&P in its yard.
In advance of loading the modules, supports were installed to ensure safe transport of the sensitive equipment. To stably support the heavy loads, grillage was provided on the deck of the ship. Hull construction was carefully considered and close attention was paid to accurate alignment when loading the modules. The ship is shown leaving for Darwin with the modules welded in place. At four different yards in Thailand, the Philippines and China, 230 separate modules were constructed and transported to the site over a two-year period, with the first shipment in June 2014. The destination of the ships is Darwin, the capital city of Australia's Northern Territory. Darwin enjoys the benefits of proximity to vast natural resources, as well as a thriving tourism industry. Situated at Bladen Point, only 10 kilometres across Darwin Harbour, progress of the plant's construction could be clearly seen from the city. Less than an hour's drive away, the ICTHUS project onshore LNG facilities is the largest development in Darwin's history. The project was officially sanctioned in 2012 and construction commenced shortly thereafter. In 2016, while the modules were being fabricated, space next to the main pipe rack was left open for the installation of the modules. On the 17th of August 2016, two of the final modules arrived after a journey of seven days from Thailand. The huge modules were received at a purpose-built materials offloading facility with a width of 65 metres. Two days later, the modules which had been welded to the ship were detached and unloading began using a self-propelled modular transporter. This module is the heart of the LNG train, the liquefaction module, built at the STPNI yard in Thailand. With maneuverability made possible by the SPMT, the modules were positioned to within a millimeter. Using SPMTs reduced the need for extra space or heavy equipment to move the modules, enabling an especially efficient plant layout and construction planning process. After five hours of careful maneuvering, the 3,300 ton module was accurately placed in its planned location. The correctly positioned module was then connected to the main pipe rack. The other piping was prepared for hookup welding and the module was fully connected. Altogether, some 3,340 connections were made throughout the entire plant. These facilities are part of a giant plant which produces LNG, LPG and condensate ready for export. Feed gas to the plant is piped from a gas field 890 kilometers offshore. The first step in the process is to separate the condensate from the feed gas. Maximum daily production capacity is 30,000 barrels. The LNG facilities comprise two processing trains. At the warm end of the trains, impurities are removed from the natural gas and ethane, propane and butane are separated in a fractionation unit, 
The ethane is then used as fuel gas within the plant. LPG production capacity is approximately 1.6 million tonnes per year. At the cold end, methane is liquefied at a temperature of minus 161 degrees. The LNG, LPG and condensate are stored in six tanks. The LNG tanks, each with a 165,000 cubic metres of usable capacity, keep the LNG at a temperature of minus 161 degrees. Such a low temperature meant that special techniques and materials had to be employed in their construction. When loading, carriers berth at the product loading jetty, from where the LNG, LPG and condensate begin the final leg of their journey to Japan and other markets. This combined cycle power plant generates all of the 500 megawatts of electric power required to operate the entire facility. The operations complex provides a comfortable working environment for the staff who oversee the operation of the plant. Because of the plant's proximity to the city of Darwin, a ground flare is used in order to minimize the visual impact. Approximately 1,000 JKC personnel and approximately 8,000 subcontractor personnel communicated closely to manage the construction activities as they pushed ahead with their work. By openly confronting challenges and tackling them based on mutual respect, the workforce succeeded in maintaining the highest level of quality. Added to that accomplishment, the project's Incident and Injury Free Program, IIF, was supported by both management and workers, bringing about a safety-conscious culture in the workplace. The majority of the project's fly-in, fly-out workforce lived in a purpose-built accommodation village, which consisted of 3,500 rooms and state-of-the-art central facilities. The village earned a Northern Territory Architectural Award in 2014. The majority of the LNG produced by ICTHIST is shipped to Japan as the major off-taker for electric power generation and for use by gas companies. The plant provides a stable supply equivalent to approximately 10% of Japan's LNG needs. The production of condensate, LNG and LPG began sequentially and this giant plant will continue to operate for decades. JKC was committed to safely delivering the ICTHIS project onshore LNG facilities. This achievement would not have been possible without the coordinated efforts of the three joint venture partners of JKC, the cooperation of our subcontractors and the support of the operator, INPEX. From Bladen Point to the world.